pleased that we've been able to walk out of court today just um, able to, to put in, I guess, to close this chapter um, of, of, of the tragedy that happened on September 21st, 2019. Um, the Kaiser family experienced uh, one of the most devastating losses that anyone could ever imagine. Uh, they lost a father, they lost a, a husband, um, they lost a confidant, just one of the best people that, uh, that you'll ever meet. And uh, they lost him tragically to uh, what the jury has come back and, 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 and told us was a, a reckless homicide. And, uh, and as a result of his actions, Mr. Tracy Gordon's actions, the defendant in this case, um, he was sentenced to 10 years. Uh, and we're thankful that that sentence has come down uh, for a lot of reasons. But first of all, because this family deserves um, to know that their father, their husband, uh, was a wonderful man and he gets to have some closure. It's not quite what we would have wanted, but uh, but it's uh, it's a major um, it's a major um, decision that was made, and to see them have an opportunity on the four year anniversary of his death to have that closure is major, um, and so we know that um, every day is going to be a tough day, um, but we're praying that every day they'll feel a little bit better, understanding that this portion has has taken place in court, the courts have heard, the Richland County jury has heard that. Um, to DNR who uh, worked so hard uh, in that moment of time when it was that heinous thing happened. Uh, to uh, the family, to our prosecutors, to Deputy Solicitor Goldberg, to Carter Potts, um, to all who were part of this team, we thank you for the work that you've done and thank you for allowing uh, this closure to take place. But I yield to the family because the pain that you guys felt, um, I'm just pleased that we were able to have a positive result for you. And we're praying daily for you. For, for, for your strength. Uh, thank you for your courage for standing by us through this time. We'll be standing by you going forward. Thank you. Thank yes, you. Absolutely. But um, <clears throat> I know that there are a few words that you may want to express. I just want to give you guys an opportunity to, 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 to speak and to uh, to address um, you know the, the public about what you've been through. Okay. Thank you. Gut-wrenching process. I'm really thankful for the 10 years sentence that we got today because the BAC, the blood alcohol level, was kicked out on the technicality, which was it, it was taken. I would say trickery. Um, so we should have had 25-year sentence. Mm -hmm. I'm just thankful that we got the 10-year sentence because he's already doing less time than he should be doing. I'm so, so sorry the jury didn't have access to all the information that was out there. This has been a really dark chapter for yeah. these last four years. So it's good to um, know that we can tra transition from that and, and hopefully we'll, things will be much brighter going forward. And hopefully some, well, I've heard, I don't know if I should say this, but some changes are going to be made because our evidence wasn't able to be seen. The jury was not able to see our evidence. We weren't able to get actual full justice because the jury did not know the evidence. And I, I feel like changes are going to be made so that maybe next time there's a trial or a case like this, the evidence will actually be submitted. Which shows him me and, you know, almost two times strong. Seven, oh. hour, what, seven hours later? Yeah. Seven hours later, being still too drunk. Yeah, so you do the math. Do the math that he was yeah, over twice. Well, I get the math. The math. And was, the judge, I love, I love hearing the judge say that too in the, in the courtroom the day in the middle of that. So I hope that's him. Um, and I think one of the major pieces too is, mm -hmm. is you guys are speaking as the accountability and just in letting voters know that um, yes. you, you, you're out on Lake Murray, whatever lake you may be on. Um, you. Everybody has an opportunity to enjoy themselves, but you can't enjoy yourself at the expense of others. And uh, and what happened out there with Mr. Gordon's actions, his um, his deliberate actions. I mean, he may not have set out that morning to hurt somebody, but based on his recklessness, based on the things that he did, um, he's caused his family irreparable harm. And uh, because of that, um, and because of the jury's decision, hopefully the message is sent that people will hear this and understand that they have a duty when they get behind the wheel of a boat or, or a vehicle of any sort. Um, if you're drinking, you need to um, make different decisions. Um, and and in this deci the decision that Tracy Gordon made has, again, irreparably changed their lives, but they're strong. 
and, uh, and good things have come as a result of, uh, of that tragic day. There's voting legislation that, uh, that, that the family has been instrumental in getting passed, and that matters, and that matters. So the prayer is that the legacy of, of, of Mr. Kaiser can, can grow from this, and that every day they'll be stronger and they can tell that story even better. And, uh, and exponentially, the, the change and the, and the good that can happen out of this tragic event, uh, that exponentially it can affect people in South Carolina and, and the beyond, of course. Yeah, I think it's very important, you know, that he did not come back to save us. He may have stayed in the area, but he did not come back to vote to help us. So he did leave the scene. He left us there to die. He left me there screaming, begging for help, with my mother bleeding out next to me and my father's body dismembered in a way that it's hard to predict words. He was shredded to pieces. He did not come back to save us. And that is what alcohol does to you. Do not go out on the water to drink and drive. Get a boater's education. There's new legislation that's been passed requiring mandatory voters education for anyone born on or after July 1st, 2007. But that doesn't mean you don't need to go out and take the voters education because you may find yourself in this situation if you don't take the right steps. Don't go out and drink and drive. Be educated and go back and help people because I would have felt completely differently about him if he would have actually come back and saved us. I would have still been mad. We would have still been hurt a lot, but it hurts even more to have it thrown in your face and have evidence thrown out yeah. and have him just only care about himself and him say he's the victim. He's he's not the victim. And to not say you're sorry or have remorse, ridiculous. I want to say, um, I'm Kimberly Cocker with Mothers Against Drunk Driving. I cover cases all over the entire state. And I, what I witnessed in this courtroom were some procedural situations that never should have happened. And this team handled it the best that they could. But on day three, when that blood draw comes in, which is a pretrial motion all day long, that hamstrung this case. Yeah, they threw it out. And that, that is, that was completely a death blow, second one to Stan Kaiser. Mm -hmm. And it was deliberate. And it was deliberate. Yeah. Spit in the face. Mm -hmm. So I want to state that this team did everything they could in the fight they put in there. But whenever you've got a side that's holding you, holding you down, <laughs> and you can't get up to breathe enough to fight, they kept fighting. But that right there, that blood draw would have made all the difference. It would have made every difference in the world. And so we are gonna hopefully work with the Kaiser family and we need change in this state. And we are looking for it. Thank you. Designated driver? Yeah, designated boat. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, have someone else drive. I'm so glad I could Sorry. I'm so glad you really said what you said because yeah. Yeah. To watch the defense team turn it into a turn our tragedy into a game. Yeah. 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 Um that was really mm -hmm. a spit in the face. Mm -hmm. And to mm -hmm. make it so hard to get the information to the prosecutors, um, to try to trip them up and then also uh, to be deposed on stand and be called a liar because I could not I didn't put every specific thing into my statement on the night when I was getting staples put into my head. I were, you know, my cut was that long. Someone else wrote it for me. That was ridiculous. To watch prosecutors, or not the defense team, to watch the defense team turn your tragedy into a game, mm -hmm. and then it's a game that the jury doesn't see any of that. The jury doesn't get the actual information. That is, that's, that's unfair. A, it's a, a crime in itself. It, 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 you know, bringing the, it, all these experts that weren't experts, you know, about the lights and just throwing everybody off. Man, it was, you know, waste time for everybody because that wasn't. Yeah. But, but I'll say, um, <clears throat> you know, your strength and the, and the courage that you exhibited matters. And, uh, and, and the skill of this team with uh, yeah. Deputy Solicitor Goldberg and, and Carter Potts, uh, yes. Solicitor Potts, and the, 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 the Faith that you put in them, uh, it matters. And, yeah, uh, oh, and yeah, blessings, we were mm -hmm. able to uh, to have a verdict that came back that um, that matters. Yes, and uh, and people have heard that verdict and the prayers that good can be done as a result of what happened and the pain that you all have gone through. But again, that we can turn that into something um, that becomes a legacy for Mr. Kaiser. I do want to say one thing because what you just said, because I feel like I just harped on, but 
was done wrong, but it's hard not to have faith in y'all when y'all, you, you were sitting in the back of the courtroom every day and y'all were fighting so hard. Y'all did such a great job. And the victim's advocates and just everybody in the whole courtroom. Yes, thank you so it much. It was really hard to put all was going on, but y'all support helped us not. Right. Okay. Hey, these guys, you know, just, mm -hmm. oh, yeah, oh, my yeah. oh my God. Oh my God. I'm so sorry. <laughs> that one of them. That amazing. They did everything right. Oh my God, such a comfort. <laughs> so thank you to thank, thank you to everybody. DNR, to the solicitor's office, and also everybody, please be safer and take care. Right. Mm -hmm. Thank you to the media for being here to cover this. Yes, thank yes. you. Because the people out, we see this stuff all the time in court. Lay people don't. So thank you for relaying this to everybody so that they see what goes on in these courtrooms. So thank you.